Hi guys and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me, Chris Agnelli. In this one we're going to take a quick overview of Delay Designer. Uh, Delay Designer is a plugin in Logic Pro uh, 10 and indeed 9. Uh, and it allows us to design delays. Uh, rather than the conventional, you know, we set a, a quarter note or some sort of rate uh, and sync that to the tempo or have it free and then we uh, get feedback. We can set our taps here in this screen and we can set, you know, hundreds or thousands of taps. I'm not sure thousands, but we can set a lot of taps and we can uh, assign controls to each of those taps, like cutoff, resonance on the cutoff. We can transpose it, pan it, have the level and control the feedback of that uh, tap. Everything that we do here in this line is to do with the tap. And it's kind of reflected here. So if we insert more taps, they, they get a letter. So tap A, B. I've never went past 26 taps, so I'm not 100% sure what happens when we get to X. So let's insert one tap and start going through the parameters. I've just got a clap here. So we can hear the delay. It's just clap, clap. If I move this, we can see the delay is getting quicker. So it's a sixteenth, half a beat, a third of a beat, a beat, half a bar, a quarter of a bar, and a whole bar. Okay. So what can we do with this uh, tap? Well, we can turn the level up or down, so we can have a exact same level as the the audio coming in. In fact, that's probably a bit louder. In fact, it is louder. Yeah. Sorry, we're plus six dB there, so zero dB. Yep. Exact same, or we can turn it down. Okay. Pan. We can pan this left or right, and we can also have it the stereo spread, how wide it's going to be in the stereo field. Transpose, we can transpose it up to a maximum of 12 semitones, or down, okay. And we can apply cutoff filter to it. So we'll, let's filter it down. And we can add resonance to that cutoff. So, and all these parameters are reflected here. So there's the filter. We can switch it on and off. Uh, You see, if I pull the white line down, it's pulling the cutoff filter down. And pull the white line up, and we're affecting the low, the, the high pass filter. So we can almost do a band pass. And we can switch the filter on and off. Then we go to the resonance. And this is our octave range, so we've got 6 dB per octave, and we've got the resonance at 87%. We need to have 6 dB per octave or 12 dB per octave, so it is removing uh, 12 dB per octave or 6 dB per octave. Transpose, there we have our pitch. So we can go up in semitones, or again we can do fine tunes on sense. Switch it on and off. Pan. So our stereo spread. So there's the pan, it's left or right. And there's the spread. And we can also flip it. And we have mute.
and that's it muted. Uh, and then with this section here deals with the feedback. So let's select A and let's look at the feedback. Switch it on. Just starting to feedback on itself. So we can have one repeated tap and delay that out. Uh, we can sync this to our tempo or song tempo or have it kind of running free. Uh, but, and we can add swing in. So if we've got taps coming in on each one. So let's start designing a, a very simple sort of ping pong uh, delay. Let's delete these. Let's delete this tap. So we'll start fresh. So there's a normal tap. So the first thing we want to do is these to sort of graduate down in volume. So a nice slope. Let's cycle around a bar of this. Two bars, in fact. Then we go to somewhere like Pan. And what I'm doing is starting off quite spread, quite thin, and then getting wider as the delays go on. And then let's look at cutoff. Let's sort of bring down the cutoff a little bit. Okay. Let's make it a bit more dramatic. I've highlighted all these guys and we're going to shove these guys up because I want the delay to be a bit quicker. So, and we can start adding in, you know, double clicks. We can change the grid to 30 seconds. So, we can add in double taps. Let's look at the level. Let's pull, sort of pull these levels down so we start to get these uh, sort of flourishes towards the end. A uh, bit of panning information. So you can see you can get very detailed in your delays. Uh, and cut off. Bring that down. Maybe bring it back up again. So it graduates back up. So you almost you're getting almost like a reverse. And A, we can add in a bit more feedback. B, sorry, switch it on, a bit more feedback. A and C, switch it on, feedback. And just watch the feedback level. delete that sorry I'm doing the, the feedback wrong a let's go to top B bring it up a bit top C and we can switch the grid back to 30 seconds or 16th now watch this 30 second here it will move it'll sh uh, move to the near 16th there you go and dots under here mean that we've got two taps on top of each other there we go And last, we can also, if we bring in a kick, we can also tap in our own delays.
and it will it will shove them to the nearest grid. So there we go. It's let's get rid of that last one. You can almost make, you know, uh, rhythmical patterns if you wanted, you know, one hit in and you could start uh, making rhythmical patterns. Almost like if we did this here. If I cleared all these guys. You could almost do a drum roll. Just using delays. So, one. Take off auto zoom. Two, three, four. So this is just delays. I'm not programming any beats here, and you can hear like a we'll, we, we're creating a drum fill. And we can add in cutoff to these. Just trying to see there. There we go. So there you go. There's uh, the basics of of delay designer. Uh, go in, create your taps. Each tap has a a function up here. Cut off resin, transpose, pan. In fact, let's try the transpose. We didn't show you that. Uh, let's. There you go. And as you can see from these guys, complex filtered, uh, you know, they can get very probably not that one. They can get very complex. Uh, so yeah, go and have fun. Uh, that's the simplest. It looks probably more complicated than it is. Uh, I will be honest with you. I don't program a lot of delays. I kind of tend to go to tape delay or, or this, you know, and use a, you know, just get a nice ping pong or something going. It's not. Uh, but I will, you know, I think when creating effects and stuff, uh, I think it might be a good, uh, good area to to try and get some interesting uh, results from. So I hope you enjoyed that. We'll <laughs>